my darlings thank you so much for stopping by Stella Rue today what are we doing today we are learning to repurpose our leftover holiday meals so today we're going to use some turkey we all know this time of year when you make you know your big holiday meal your thanksgiving meal you have like two weeks of turkey left over and you got to try to figure out what the heck to do with it we're gonna have turkey gravy we're gonna have just sliced turkey we have turkey sandwiches turkey salad turkey this turkey that and then you run out of ideas <laughs> so here's one idea that you could try with your turkey uh, that i think you will enjoy it's going to be a turkey and black bean soup and so you just stay tuned and let's see what's happening in the kitchen Okay guys, now for this easy, easy, easy recipe, you're gonna need one can of black beans, uh, rinsed and drained, drained and rinsed, uh, some chopped mushrooms, uh, that's about six or seven of them. Uh, this is three regular sized carrots chopped up, little slim carrots, an assortment of veggies that are chopped. Uh, I have onions, tomatoes, bell peppers, and potato and a bowl of your leftover turkey now to add to the water what i'm gonna do is just add a chicken wing and i'm i've already dropped a couple of uh, livers and gizzards that came from the turkey in the bottom along with just a couple of pieces of the turkey and that's just going to create the broth now and then i'm going to go ahead and add some dried minced garlic and some sea salt and bring this to a boil now as it starts to boil guys you're gonna see it's gonna create a little film around it because you have the chicken livers and stuff in it when you put the top on and let it boil it's gonna create like a little film around the pot and it's gonna look a little icky but don't be alarmed at that that's normal I'm gonna put in some sage leaves I've broken up about three sage leaves then I'm going, I'm going to, to start in. putting in your veggies here in a sec but first what we're going to do to give it like some excellent flavor is we are going to put in some Lipton onion soup everybody knows Lipton onion soup especially around this time of year everybody's always using onion soup to make dips and you know the green bean casserole stuff and all of that so we're going to put some of that in our water to give our um, soup some really really good flavor I'm just making it quick and easy stir it around a little bit then I'm gonna put in my chopped veggies I have here my potatoes and bell peppers onions and tomatoes just gonna go and put all of those in together and this soup guys is not gonna take long at all because you're just basically waiting on the veggies to get tender mainly because the, the uh, meat is already cooked so now we're going to put in our carrots that we chopped ourselves. You can use frozen carrots. You can even use frozen chopped veggies if you want to make it even faster. Now I'm going to put in my chopped mushrooms. And yes, I like a lot of vegetables in mine. So you just gauge it as to how you want your soup to be. I love a lot of vegetables in mine. I like to volumize mine with vegetables. Makes it more filling okay you stir that around then we're going to put in our black beans which we rinsed it was just a can of black beans we didn't go and do all the extra which we already rinsed and uh drained and rinsed i'm sorry and then we're going to stir that around okay then we're going to take our leftover turkey that we cut up chopped up a little bit and we're just going to drop that in as well okay and then stir that all up together now if you want to make this soup really interesting guys you guys you could add a little salsa to it and some corn out of a can and then uh, you know put you a little cayenne pepper some little spice in there and some shredded um tortilla strips and you can make you a turkey tortilla soup okay now I'm just gonna add a little bit more water so we can have somewhere to boil too and I'm gonna cut it up to medium high not high but medium high because I want it to go ahead and boil because I'm just waiting on the vegetables to get tender so now I'm gonna put a top on it 
and all we have to do now is wait about 15 minutes Alrighty, darlings, there we have it. We made us a nice, wonderful soup, quick and easy. Didn't take but about 15, 20 minutes of actual cook time, just enough time to make the uh, vegetables tender. Now remember guys, when you're making this recipe, you can volumize it however you like. You can put things in it that other things that I may not have put in it, I put it, things in there that I like. So you remember that cooking is all about making it fit you and making it yours. So you can do whatever, if you want beets in it, you can throw some beets in it. I hate beets. But <laughs> but you can do that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Give it a try. You will not be disappointed. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can be a part of our wonderful family. And then give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And share this video with someone that you may be know is looking for some new ideas or some new recipes or just some new ideas of ways to get rid of that holiday turkey so so you can go ahead and share the video now to find out um, how to get some of our always, signature seasonings you can look down below in the description box i will put the link to the website you can go to the website and check that out and you might find something you like I always have things that I like I'm just saying <laughs> but you can also follow us on social media we are on Instagram Facebook and Twitter I will also put those links down below and also guys just to kind of give everybody a heads up I have a new channel I'm not leaving this channel but I have another channel on YouTube where I'm just sharing my podcast I have a podcast and so I wanted to share that with some people and so I put just built another channel so that you can listen into the podcast isn't that wonderful <laughs> so go ahead and check that out i'll put that link below as well go ahead and check that out and see if you like it if you have some suggestions for some subjects and topics and things like that i will be more than happy to do those and i have guests and everything on those things so i thank you guys so very much i really appreciate you for taking a few minutes out of your day at a time to spend with little old me i'm trying my best to get those videos condensed down more so it's not so long but I'm, I'm still working on it, but I'm getting there. But I appreciate the fact that you view and you look and you watch. And I am just so grateful uh, for all of your love and your support. So as always, guys, I love you, love you, love you. God bless you. Happy cooking and happy holidays.